Welcome to day two of the 25 apps in 25 days series. The series where I showcase a brand new app every single day for 25 days in a row, right up until we hit Christmas. If you missed yesterday's episode, I'll have a playlist linked down below where you can catch up. But for today's episode, I've got a super useful open source application that I've actually been using for a number of months now. And it was particularly useful when using the OnePlus 13 a couple of months back. Before I press on, just a reminder that this video and this series does not have any sponsors, but it is supported by those of you who download and use any of my apps, as well as those who purchase any of the digital products that I sell on my website, all of which will be linked below. And I do wanna quickly highlight the companion app to this series, my app Shelf, which is a library of hand-picked app recommendations from yours truly. The app initially started purely as a companion app for my top Android app series, but has since evolved to feature way more app recommendations, including recommendations from your favorite top Android app creators. And we literally add brand new app recommendations every single day, so it's definitely worth checking out. With that being said, let's dive into today's application. All right, as I said, today's app is actually an open source app, which I know a lot of us place high value in when it comes to choosing the apps that we download and install. And as you can see from the name up here, it's called Alembicons. The app is essentially like a combination of both the Icon Pack Studio app, which is an app that lets you create custom icon packs, as well as the old, no longer available on the Play Store app, Icon Pack Mixer. But here's the thing, at least at the time of making this video, for some reason, phones running Oxygen OS and Color OS and potentially others as well, they do not recognize icon packs exported from the icon pack studio app. And the other issue is that Oxygen OS in particular also doesn't reliably support icon pack masking either. As an example, take my own drops icon pack. On my OnePlus 13 here, ignore my home screen icons because they've actually been set up using KWGT. But if I long press my home screen, then tap on icons and then swipe across and tap my drops icon pack, you can actually see that the preview shows a few unsupported apps and shows that the icon pack masking is supposedly working. And by the way, this is the masking system that we've implemented on our end and it works on pretty much any other launcher aside from the OnePlus launcher. But if I hit apply and come back home, then swipe into the app drawer, the icon masking isn't actually working, which is why there's all these large unthemed icons. And sure, I could in theory long press one of these missing icons, then tap the edit button, then tap the icon and swipe across to the drops icon pack to manually replace it. But because this menu isn't searchable and because it's actually quite buggy, often showing duplicate icons, I defy anyone who claims they're willing to deal with having to dive in and manually replace every unthemed icon, particularly if it's an icon pack with several thousands of icons to sift through. Now, normally if a launcher I'm using doesn't support icon masking for whatever reason, then I'd open up the icon pack studio app, tap on new, then import installed icon pack, then select the drops icon pack and that's it. I'd then go through the export process like so and install the exported icon pack via the Google files app. But again, even after completing that, like I said, the OnePlus launcher doesn't recognize this exported icon pack in the icon pack section. And so that's where Alembicons comes in, because check this out, I can simply tap this options drop down menu here, then set my primary source to icon pack, then set the primary icon pack here to that exported icon pack that I just exported. Then I'll leave everything else as is and close that menu. Then I'll tap this refresh icon here to load that in. But what's great is that I can then also sift through my list of apps here and find any that I wanna manually replace. Like if I scroll all the way down here to where the messages app is, I actually wanna switch out the pre-selected icon to something else. So I'll tap that custom icon, then change the source to icon pack, then I'll select the drops icon pack, then I'll tap the search icon, start searching for the word messages, and this orange icon is the one that I prefer using, so I'll simply tap that, then tap the tick icon, and now that's the icon that'll be used with this pack. You can then go through and manually change any other icon as well if you like, which is much more efficient than using the stock launcher to do it because it's got that search functionality and because it's not buggy as hell. So I'll also change this missing Nova Launcher Prime icon here as an example. But once I'm happy, I just tap this settings icon up here. The icon pack will then build and I'll get the option to install it, which I'll go ahead and do. Now with recent versions of Android, you'll need to tap this more details option here and then tap install without scanning, then scan your fingerprint. But then once it's installed, I can then come back home, long press, tap on icons, then select this icon pack here called Alchemy Con Pack, then hit apply. And once done, I can swipe into my app drawer and would you look at that, it has worked perfectly. 
We no longer have any of those unthemed icons that stick out like a sore thumb. Everything is small and matching perfectly. And if we come down even further here, you can actually see that any of those apps that I manually switched the icons for, like the Messages app here, those icons have been applied as expected. And if you're wondering where that exported icon pack lives, well, it's right next to the Alembicons app. And just keep in mind, if this is your first time doing this, then you might actually see that its icon is actually unthemed. So if that's the case, then you can either repeat the icon pack studio step if you like, or the better option is to just come back into Alembicons and manually customize that Alchemy Compact icon like we did with the Messages app. So I'll change the source here to icon pack, then select drops. And all I'm gonna do here is search for the word icon, pick one that I like the look of. So let's change it to this one here for something different. Then I'll tap the tick, then the settings wrench, tap on update. Then once it's installed, I can come back home, swipe into my app drawer, and there it is. But there you have it, day two of the 25 apps in 25 days series is in the back. Again, don't forget to check out my app shelf for even more great app recommendations. And don't forget to hit subscribe so that you don't miss out on the next episode. But aside from that, that's it. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll catch you later.